Hi, it's Ms. Saxon in the Media Center, and I want to give you a quick update. The Cobb County Library has updated their website over the break, and I just wanted to give you a quick little refresher on it because I love Cobb County Library, and I think they offer a lot of great resources, especially for our students who are remaining virtual. It's a great way to access some really great information and um, ebooks. So if you go to cobbcounty.org, backslash library, you will get to the Cobb County website. And the place you want to click right away, they have a lot of stuff on their website. You can kind of scroll around, you can search the catalog. But what I have found to be the easiest thing to do is to click on research and digital. So when you click research and digital, you can, they have a graphic here. It says read, listen, watch, learn. So if you're looking to get a book, you can click on read and you can go to their ebooks and e audios and their digital magazines. So this e read kids is a great way to find some books. You can place a hold on them. You can, some of them will be available to check out. If you find one that you're interested in, I'm going to check. So you put your card ID. And so the way this works is you want to do your student number and your student number for Marietta, because as a Marietta student, you have access to Cobb County Library. So do your lunch number and then your pin number is going to be your birthday. So my birthday is September 15th, so it would be 0915. You don't have to put the year, just 0915. And that will let you log into it and check out books from this app. So I am going to just show you that there's lots of different things you can check in. You can see which ones they feature, or you can look for something specific if you knew you wanted a certain book. But you can just sort of see some of the books they have available. They have tons of different options. You can keep loading more. Um, and it's a great way to get books at home. I'm going to back out of this, and I want to go back to the another option, which is Overdrive. Overdrive is their system to find books, um, the Cobb County Library system. It's got tons and tons of different books. You can search different ways. You can sign in the same way that you did with your number and your PIN number. And it'll be your lunch number, your four-digit PIN. So I'm just going to log in with my card number and just show you a little bit how it is. Like this, you can look specifically for Kindle books. You can look specifically for different types of books. You can go by subject. And you can also just, if I only wanted to look for audiobooks or I only wanted to look for ebooks, you can do it that way as well. So I'm going to click search and I'm going to select ebooks. And I'm going to type something like Pete the Cat. And it will show me all the Pete the Cat ebooks that they have. Um, and if it's available, it'll say borrow. If it's not available now, you can click place a hold and it will let you know when it does become available. So it's a really good option. And, you know, it just takes a little bit of practice to sort of manipulate and find what you need. But you can also check here, like on the side, you can it'll tell you that like this is if it's a children's book or if it's a young adult book. Let me go back to the main page again. So again, if you're on here, you want to sort of see some books, you're not sure what you want, you can click search. You can type in something. You can also type in, if you like adventure or you like graphic novels, you can type in and it'll pull up different books that relate to that topic. And so you can kind of narrow it down. If I only want to have eBooks, if I only want to have a Kindle book, also, it gives you the option if you want to have an audiobook, and an audiobook is where you hear the story, but you don't get to um, see the pictures. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for, but it'll say ebooks will actually let you go page by page. So I'm going to click on the Astronomer Silton book, and I'm going to click borrow because it'll let me borrow it. And you can either read it with your Kindle or you can just read it in the browser. So I'm going to read it in my browser. And it goes page by page, just like you're reading the book, but on your computer.
So it's a really great option, especially if you are at home. Um, you still have access to tons of great resources. So back to the Cobb County book, that is the Research and Digital. So I went to the main page, I clicked on Research and Digital, and that's where I got, and then I clicked on Read, and that's where I got that information. You can also click on Watch. Watch will show you some of all the streaming video that they have. They have videos just for kids. They have even like television shows, like they have this network, Acorn TV, where you can watch British television shows. This is called The Great Courses, and it has lots of different courses that are almost like college classes. The Cobb County Library has so many different things. It has this Artist Works Library that teaches you different things with music or art. You can do lots and lots of different options. Another thing that you may want to try out, you know, we clicked on Watch, we clicked on Read. If you click on Learn, it will give you some of the databases that the library has. And these are going to be really quality resources. They have a whole section on children's resources. You can find things that are designed just for kids and for elementary age kids. If you need to do research, if you're trying to learn about a certain topic, it's got a lot of great information. So I encourage you to try to play around with it and take advantage of the opportunity we have. Um, it's great that Marietta City Schools students can access the Cobb County Library and they've got tons of great things. Thank you.